Okay, this probably shows that I uh, only know that seagulls use wind power pretty good. Uh, here we are, we've got a couple of arches tied together. Um, well, not really so much tied as in working this, this foot system. This is them swollen up. Uh, well the, the whole purpose of this one would be to open and drop them uh, along this line here. If I stick that down, it'll take a wee while to recompute that. Yeah, it's very jumpy at the moment. But what I want to do is uh, I want to get a bit more computing power. And well, or well, well, I can maybe build some step system. And I'm able to control these two arches so that one swells to that side and this right hand one swells up to that side. And that induces like pulling uh, up on this line and pulling up on that line. So if you had some sort of levered uh, pump system here where one was working against the other and it would pull upwards, uh, I'll go up a little bit, go halfway. And it's taken a wee while to recompute this. Maybe I'll cut the video. Yeah, there you go. Up halfway um, up to the top now. Wow, that's exciting. Now, the Kite should change position just now. Uh, again, it's taking an awful lot of work. Uh, that's them in there driving outwards. Yes, because the the middle, the, the vertical one has gone this way. So this is wanting to push that way. This is wanting to push that way. That's how they'd end up here. Switch it back the other way. Yeah, the, the, the ribs have gone outwards there. The insides have gone down, the outside has gone up, so it's going to want to swoosh back in. That would have the effect of making the whole thing want to drop again, which, given a wee second, it's going to eventually do. There we go. So, yeah, we could work something down the bottom here quite easily to engage with that. There you go.